Welcome to River City Live and happy birthday to us. <laughs> it's our birthday, but you're getting all of the presents. Everything you see on the show today is some kind of cue for you to do something. And we'll tell you what it is for each individual prize. But right now you're looking at some creepy crawly stuff. <laughs> yeah, so obviously the Jacksonville Zoo and we're going to have tickets to give away. So stay tuned for the details on that. And I'd like to welcome some of the staff. I have Morgan and Chris to really be the spokespeople about what's happening at the zoo. I see some creepy crawlers there. Yes. And then obviously spooktaculars going on right now. So can you explain to the viewers if they haven't been what that's all about? Yeah, so spooktacular is happening right now. This is our 32nd year of spooktacular. So it's been happening a lot in Jacksonville. Uh, we have five nights remaining. So this Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then next Wednesday and Thursday for Halloween, we have Spectacular. So there's trick-or-treating, uh, we have music and games, there's um, lots of characters out that you can meet, take photos with. <laughs> <laughs> so there we is. want the whole families to come out, dress up. And you up. encourage people to dress mm -hmm. up yeah. then, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, no. <laughs> no, you're not going to go for the Yeah, and then like, there was some of the video there, and you guys do such a great job with really transforming the entire zoo, a lot of different stations. It really is fun for the entire family. I had an opportunity to go out one year as Tinkerbell, and yeah. there was a whole scene that played out with uh, Captain Hook, and all of the kids were really fascinated, <clears throat> excuse me, and there was trick-or-treating, and I was able to give out some candy, and that was a lot of fun, but there is, there was a house in there that was scary, yes. so the, it's, it's not scary as you walk around, but if you're willing to be scared, there are a few scary parts. Yeah, so this is fun for all ages. So we have three optional scare zones. Um, there's zombies, we have the Spider King, that's the mask that you see there. He returns every year to uh, shake things up. <laughs> <laughs> and this offers people a different perspective when they see the zoo, because you can go during the day and you mm. see all the animals, but the, you know, at night, it's a totally different vibe. Yeah, all kinds of creatures come out. Um, unfortunately, most of our animals do go to sleep because it is nighttime, but you might be able to see some giraffes, and we also have our jaguars out, so. Oh. Oh. Yeah. I didn't Very hear that about nice. the giraffes, though. Are they nocturnal, or are they just, they don't lay down, right? So yeah, they, they have a late bedtime. We let them, we let them. Uh, they stay up late. Fun. Always up to the The party animal. And they're kind of always trick-or-treating, those giraffes. They're always like, got a leaf, got a leaf up yeah. here for me. We'll so. have snacks up there, too, so you can come and feed the giraffes. That's a lot of fun. And our show open for four years now. <laughs> We've been feeding the giraffes every day on River City Live, so we know very well. So who do we have yeah, with this? us? Yes, well, this is a great question. This is Beetlejuice in the theme of Spectacular. <laughs> yeah. uh, and she is a California king snake, which you can find uh, mostly on the west side of the continental USA, so California, Arizona, places like that. Uh, and we have a common Florida uh, king snake that lives here, and it's the opposite color effect, so it's definitely more black than white. And king snakes are my uh, favorite types of snakes. Um, is because they're really, really, really great for the ecosystem. So people think snake creepy crawly, and mm -hmm. they can be a little creepy crawly. My mom's probably back home right now saying, no way. Um, <laughs> Not but with your mom. <laughs> <laughs> well, are they poisonous? No, that's a great question. So they are non-venomous, meaning they do not have venom. And it's the opposite. They actually eat venomous snakes. So oh, really? those rattlesnakes. Where uh, does that venom go then? <laughs> <laughs> well, it goes inside them, but they have special uh, like stomach acid and kind of preventatives inside of their bloodstream that gives them a mild uh, kind of immunity to it. Uh, and so they proactively eat snakes. So king snakes, they're named king of the snakes because they proactively will eat other snakes. But they also eat rodents and those mice. So they're great to have around. If you see one around your home, they're typically like, eh, I'm just moving along to find something to eat, so you leave me alone, I won't bother you. And if you have to remove them from your house, it's because who wants a snake in their home? You said the name just three times. Beetle, 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 beetle. <laughs> it disappears, right? It disappears. And, and what does our lady over here have? Well, she has our wonderful blue tongue skink. You can only find them. They're native to Australia. Uh, and another one, great one for the ecosystem. So a lot of people like to see them in their gardens because they eat a lot of the insects. Uh, and if you look very close, there we go, blue tongue. <laughs> so in the animal kingdom, blue tongue, woo! Spectacular, right? <laughs> Scares the predators away, so they run away. But they are actually uh, non-venomous. They're not poisonous at all. But in the animal kingdom, bright colors mean, hey, stay away from me. So they're really, really cool. Uh, animals as well, and most people think the head looks like a snake, but they actually are a lizard, and it's a blue tongue skink, the second largest on the planet. So they can get about two feet long, so she's really young. Wow. Got a lot of growing to do, and so it's the second largest, a skink out there that's even larger. They can get about three feet long. And when you look at that animal, the arms seem really small. So it's like, what is that for that? And like, you know, how does it move? Yeah, so they are desert adapted. So they uh, kind of stay on the ground. They're terrestrial. So it keeps them low to the ground. And if you look at the colors on the top, 
kind of blends in with the uh, dirt and the gravel and ground as well. So you got a browns, a little black. So if they're in the shade, they can look like the sandy area as well as looking like the well, shadow area. Very cool. You know, we always learn something every time you guys are on. And right now we want to talk about the family four pack mm -hmm. that we are giving away. So all you have to do is go to our Facebook page and leave a comment on why you love the Jacksonville Zoo or even your favorite animal. I love that. Maybe right now it's the blue tongue stink. Skink. Skink. <laughs> no. Sorry, Beetlejuice. <laughs> Got a favorite. All right, well, thanks, you guys, and thanks for always being a part of River City Live, no matter what it is going on at the zoo. We love highlighting the great work you guys do, and we appreciate the fun you bring to us on a regular basis. Will you indulge us for a moment? We want to take a look back, because like we said, it's been four years. Today is our birthday, and we have some highlights to share. Love to. Yeah. Yeah.